Hi everyone and welcome back to the Stock Gamma Mod Pack. I've had a few questions in the comments about cooking in the game, so I thought I'd do a very quick guide on how to do that. So the first thing you will need is some meat. I'm sure you've all found some. You can find it on dogs, boars, various other creatures in the game. The good news is that every recipe is automatically available to you at the start. There's nothing to unlock there. If I go into my inventory, you'll see that I have two different camping stoves. The first is the field cooking kit. This has a total of eight uses. If you buy it brand new, I actually have two on me. One has three uses left. The other has eight. Now, this requires either charcoal or you to be standing next to a campfire to use it. Nice and straightforward, limited only by the fact that it's got a limited number of uses. On the other hand, you have the multi-fuel stove. This has unlimited uses and allows for cooking of higher tier recipes, which we'll get to. However, this requires gasoline, natural gas or kerosene. So it requires you to have a fuel on your person to be able to use it. Let's start with the field cooking kit. If we head in, you can see all the recipes are available, including you can brew yourself some coffee if you have coffee beans, which gives you some nice advantages and bonuses there. The other thing you can do is basically cook the meat, very standard. Here's a boar chop, simple as that. You would cook it next to the campfire and it would use one of your uses of the field cooking kit, nice and straightforward. The other option is to cook that meat with water and make it a stewed boar chop. This is a very silly idea in my mind. This gives you no other advantages other than it almost doubles the amount of feeding. Plus 767, whereas a standard piece of boar meat is 481. So it's not quite double. However, it requires you to use two water, which is an excessive amount of water to use. Water is hard to come by in this. You'd be buying it constantly. I really wouldn't waste your time. I would focus on just cooking the standard boar chops. The only advantage is perhaps that you're making better use of the field cooking kit, but they're pretty cheap from the butcher. So this is the cheapest way to make food is just to cook it from the field cooking kit. And it's cheaper than buying cans as I have been doing in my recent playthrough. In my previous playthrough, I did this all the time. I just seem to have not been struggling for cash at all in my current playthrough. So I've just been buying cans for quickness. But this is a much more efficient way to make food and eat food. Now you'll notice here that I haven't clicked on any of these lovely green drops. They're all greyed out. These are the advanced recipes. Let's go into the other kit to have a look at those. So, the multi-fuel stove, you will now see that these are no longer greyed out. This requires liquid fuel of either kerosene, natural gas or petrol, basically. You will require your boar chop and then you will require vodka. The only one that doesn't require this vodka is the rat sticks, but that doesn't give you any other bonuses. Whereas all of these will give you an additional bonus. The boar chops purified, for example, will give you more than double the food level. Stamina recovery and weight carried increased by 6.4 kilograms for 2,850 seconds, which is quite a long time. Then the Chimera meat would give you 990, stamina recovery 500, and 12 kilograms of additional carry weight for 4,000 seconds. You can see how beneficial these would be. The pseudo dog meat, well, that would give you psych resistance, which could be very handy for going through certain anomalies and doing certain missions and quests. Again, with additional weight to be able to carry on that one. Then you've got something like the Lurker Chops, which gives you stamina recovery and weight carried. And then at the end there, you have the Snork Hand, which gives you some chemical resistance. You can look at them all to experiment, but basically all of these require vodka. So they certainly have an advantage to them in that they give you these lovely additional bonuses, which could be very beneficial. However, they come at an additional cost of requiring the vodka and obviously requiring the multi-fuel stove and some liquid fuel. So if you want to keep things simple, you use the camping stove or the field cooking kit and you just cook meat. Straightforward enough, that is the best way to do it. And that's the guide. It's really that simple. Thanks for watching everyone. Please do like, share, subscribe and I'll see you all soon for some more Gamma videos.